in another vision and praying and just enjoying the presence of God and then the Lord speaks to me and says son from today I give you my presence as a gift and in that encounter I turn and I see this being standing close to me he said he will walk with you I said what is his name and he said he's called the angel of the Lord's presence that he will walk with you listen when you see ordinary men look supernatural I told you there is nothing in us we don't amount to much unassisted but the glory of heaven the spirit of grace we stand confident because of his presence every man of God is like a bride the spirit of God is the husband the wife is a reflection of her husband when the wife speaks and says I donate one million it is at the cost of the husband the wife will do the speaking on his behalf and then the husband will honor it so when we stand and begin to speak and things happen do you believe that that power is is no the power is not just generated it is outsourced from a dimension that is not earthly how do you begin to speak that someone will be healed that someone will be delivered and in a moment no human beings are not robots carry your presence everywhere who am i your mind is so full of me. Listen to me. Even if a man of God prays for you and imparts grace, it is not his impartation that makes it happen. It is because midwifing that man and you is that same spirit. The man is only able to impart grace because he honors the custodian. The Holy Spirit does not receive power from any other person. He is the one who owns it. We have to wait until he empowers us. Ah. Help those who begin to shout now under the anointing. I just saw fire. It's coming on many people's altar. And the Lord is saying he's opening them to new seasons of intimacy. New seasons of intimacy. Right now, I decree and declare. I decree and declare. My God, by that grace, that fire, for many of you, is leading you into a deep experience. This is not just miracles. Uh -uh. This, this is an encounter. He's reintroducing himself to you. Help those under the anointing. Listen, 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 listen. Just be sensitive. We're about to pray. My goodness. I went for in had bunkers crusade in 2004. Very ordinary, unassuming man. Help them, please. I want to show you how powerful this paraclet that was given to you as a gift from God. He was not given to Pentecostals. He was not given to charismatics. He was not given to white men or black men. He was given to all men. The Holy Spirit is a gift. God's gift to you. And I stood there in that crusade ground. Tens of thousands of people. And I watched an ordinary man. Limited in every way. But in the presence of the Spirit of God. After he finished preaching very simple message and when he was done it was time to pray for the sick and he was about to take a cup of water and then the Lord opened my eyes and I saw that was the first vision of the person of the Holy Spirit I saw a giant bird just hovering around the crusade crown that's what I saw giant bird with silvery linings across the wings just moving i thought everyone was seeing it by the time that vision will be over 
I had even turned to back the stage and the Lord took me to Genesis 1 verse 2 and the Spirit of God wavered around them. That was where I got, listen, listen, let me tell you this. I didn't just see it as a sermon that the union of the movement of the spirit and the spoken word is what produces the miraculous. Help that lady. Without his presence, ministry will be a burden. Without his presence, you will only be an inconvenience to people as a man of God. Invite him to your home. Invite him to your church. Invite him to your business. Invite him to your family. Invite him to your body. Hold on. Look up, please. Hear me. Your body can either be his temple or a den of robbers. You have to choose one of the two. Your body can be either of the two. Either his temple where he resides in light or it can be a den of robbers. And we know the chief robber is Satan himself. John 10.10 10, that the thief cometh not but for to steal. If you ignore his ministry in your life, your body becomes a den of robbers. Hear me? Part of his ministry of empowerment is to activate the various dimensions of the treasures of God hidden within you. How do you sit down and begin to prophesy and speak to someone revealing the things that would happen? No. Immortal, invisible God, only one. Most glorious, most precious. Immortal, invisible God, only one. That's the part I want you to hear. Just because he's invisible does not mean he's unreal. He's only invisible to the frame of your sight. But he's ever present, even here tonight. Even here tonight. We know that he's here. He is brooding over every darkness. You are causing lights to shine. The Holy Ghost is proving. Listen, I am a student of revival. I have studied revivals across many continents by the privilege of God's grace. I have had the honor to meet a few people, some in their lifetime still alive, others before they left. Every one of those people became mighty because they honored him. A weak woman, listen, a weak woman called Maria Woodward Eater. She ran away from ministry because she was too weak. She was fra fragile. What do I teach? I don't even have the, the charisma. But the Holy Ghost said, come. Don't ever say you are not enough. Let him come. He becomes a completer. What do I say? Just let him come. A man like Baba Deboye will stand with thousands and hundreds of thousands of people. Millions of people. May not talk so loud may not shout and jump because of his age and personality but in honor to that spirit of god he will say in the name of jesus let this be the last time of your tears and you will hear people will shout amen and the next thing you see people return with testimonies don't downplay what he can do i have good news for you he is here he is here because the word of God declares that where two or three are gathered in his name, he is in their midst. But he is here because he says to call upon him and he will answer. He will even show great and mighty things. 
For in the sanctuary God is There is a Anointing in the sanctuary There is a Is it true that the load I'm carrying on my head can leave? Find out what he did to darkness. Do you know how difficult it is to drive darkness? Because you cannot hold it. Darkness is not like a car that you push away. How do you drive darkness? Do you blow it to go away? But when the Spirit of God arrived, darkness fled. So don't be surprised, help them please, that in one moment, you will check that pain and not find it again. Listen, listen. Let it not surprise you that while you are seated, he leaves, you see, that because he is God, he does not leave, need to live here to be where you want him to be. He can be in both places. So while he's here, he can be in your office immediately correcting something that needs to be corrected listen tonight is a miracle service and i needed to tell you this the holy spirit can help men there are many of you who are accessing power tonight not just power to run but power to soar yesterday i told you there is a certain speed that the plane must get to lift it is a risk for the plane to lift if it has not gotten to that speed. The Holy Spirit can provide that speed so that you will rise. For those who are sick in their bodies, I want you to know that the helper is here. For those who have cried and say, is there a way? Ah. He'll move your mountains. He'll cause walls to fall. With his power, you perform miracles, and there is There are those of you, what is happening is that he's coming to rest upon you like a hand upon the eggs and wisdom that he will breathe upon you you will come out and do something that will shake Enugu state they will say from whence come this wisdom what dimension of wisdom did you just come with listen there are some of you who came here like strangers but you are living as prophets you came here as just prayer warriors but you are living as, as giants custodians of power in the spirit Listen, the biblical proof of spiritual power is when you say it and it happens. For I am a man under authority, having men under me. I say to one, go, and he goeth. I say to one, come, and he cometh. And God said, and there was. And what he said that manifested, he saw it, and it was good. He can turn the weak to become strong. He can change SS to AA. He can turn a woman's... I'm saying this so that take your eyes away from the darkness and look at him. Help them. Please help them. I'm about to pray now. You see, for as long as you are focused on the darkness, you will not be able to see his glory. I am a product of his grace I am a product of the healing power of God it's not just that he uses me to bring it I am a beneficiary I know what it means to be plagued by sicknesses and infirmities I have seen firsthand the power of God 
I don't just say he heals because I read it in the Bible alone. My life is a testament. I am a living epistle. I have been oppressed by demon spirits. I know what it means to minister as a man of God, not an unbeliever, and yet still be oppressed. But I also know the taste of victory. You can taste and see. Not just hear and assume. You can taste. There is an experience to his ministry. Listen, when we begin to pray, I like for your heart to be opened. Because there are many of you, you may not be sick in your body, but hear me. For the sake of those who are connected to you, there are graces you must receive this night. If God has called you to bring a certain kind of revival in any good state, don't sit down assuming it will happen. By what? The Bible says, say unto God, how terrible art thou in thy ways. It is through the greatness of thy power that thy enemies submit themselves to you. It's time to speak to certain forces in Enugu to say and it happens. It's time to open certain doors, even ancient doors that close the destinies of men. The messianic prophecy, Isaiah 61, it says the spirit of the Lord Ah, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he had anointed me to preach glad tidings to the meek to bind up the brokenhearted to comfort those who mourn he had sent me to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of prison have you ever seen a man in a spiritual prison there are people who are in the correctional centers they are limited. That is an adumbration of what happens to a man in a spiritual prison. Just because you are moving physically does not mean you are free. There are prison doors that need to be opened tonight. Atmosphere shift now. Change be broken. I will pray for you but the person i'm seeing in my vision is wearing white not just yellow the person i'm seeing in my vision is wearing white someone in one minute wherever you are i want you to open your mouth and everything you know that must live your life tonight insist no negotiation it must go outside inside pray